Welcome to another session of Teams in 20. This week we are talking about Microsoft Lists. If you haven't used Lists, it's one of those hidden gems in the M365 tool bag that you need to go and have a look at. Uh, today we've got Daria, she's back. She's gonna take us through a demo. She's gonna explain what Microsoft Lists is all about. And we're gonna kick off with a couple of minutes of video just to, to inspire you into what you could actually do with the product. Everyone's here, let's see, yes. All right, good, I have some big news for us. Should we sit down for this? Are we updating everybody's laptops? Is this about the team morale event? Because I've well, got some pretty big ideas. I've been working on some things. Okay, okay, listen up everyone. A hundred stores open up next month, and we all know what that means. A massive inventory spike. And getting distribution back up to speed. Plus a whole bunch of new hires. Yeah, it's a lot. And I know exactly how we're gonna do this. All right, here's our first order. 500 stuffed unicorns. Ah, uh, I only have 100. Oh, wait, more are coming Tuesday. I'll update the list. How did interviews go? Awesome, hiring these top picks. The warehouse is having fulfillment issues. I'll get a mirror on it. Congrats, everyone. We did it. We got all 100 stores stocked in record time. Whew. Nice work on fulfillment, you guys. Hey, you made it organized. And the new hires are totally up to speed. Nice. It all worked out. I mean, seriously, you guys are great. You know what's great? Technology. All right, and teamwork. So for those of you who don't know me, um, my name is Daria. I'm a cloud solution architect aligned to modern work. We have previously met during the Protect Your Time with Viva Insight session a while ago, and also last week when we spoke about loop components. Really happy to be back and to introduce you to Microsoft Lists this time. Um, so I will start with a quick overview of the product and then swap to a live demo environment and showcase the tool. So. First and foremost, what are Microsoft Lists? How we, do we define this tool? List is a new standalone application in M365 that you can use to create and manage all sorts of information. Lists also work in Microsoft Teams, where you can use the rich capabilities of the hub to collaborate on a new list. Uh, you can build a fresh list in Teams alongside of the chat capabilities as well. So you can do this in the central location. Also, you can bring existing lists and tabs, as tabs, into Teams, and this is, is quite similar to, to Microsoft Planner if you're already using that. Now, using Microsoft Lists, you can track a lot of different types of ongoing information, and we're not just speaking about tasks. We can include their progress status, we can add file attachments, and other details that we see fit. We define and you define what information you need to track and how you want to do it using scenarios as the, as the um, using scenarios as diverse and as unique as the information that you are tracking. Look, I am a massive fan of being organized and having so many tools that help me do that. And I definitely need help to be doing it, right? And the good part is that I benefit from an abundance of applications that help me manage my work and organize it the way that I want. List is one of my favorite tools, um, and it's not the first one because the first one is Loop, but it's one of the first three favorite tools that I use for the three reasons on the screen. First of all, they're very simple. They're very easy to create. They're very easy to share. They're accessible across several different devices, and you can start the web app using the Microsoft 365 app launcher. Um, coming later this year, we'll have a mobile application that provides functionality through the phone. Second of all, they are smart. We are building them with the capabilities that help you keep everyone in sync. And you do that without a lot of time right? required on your side, which is amazing. For example, we've made it easy to develop rules based on the type of information you're tracking. Um, so when something in a list changes, for example, it triggers an email or it tags someone through an app mention. And it, this happens because the right pe we want to keep the right people alerted at the right time. Also, you can enhance your list experience by running it inside Teams alongside the other collaboration features, the way it is shown here on the laptop on the screen. You can just simply add the list tab as a new tabs in Teams and you can import an existing list or you can actually build a new list in the Teams channel. 
And last but not the least, before we jump to the demonstration, lists are flexible. So from, from configuring and color coding to conditional formatting to integration with Power Platform, which is a little bit more complicated than it sounds, you can choose simple or dynamic roles and views to help you get the most out of your list. But enough with the slides. Let's just swap to a live demo environment and see this in action. So I'll share my screen and take you to my office portal. So this is the office portal. This is the web application. A little spoiler, you can already see that on the homepage in my portal, I can already see some of the lists that I've accessed recently right here and some of the streams as well. So every time you're going to work with lists or with planner, you're going to see them access the, the, one that's, the ones that you've accessed in the homepage. Now, if I click on the nine ellipses and I just click on lists, it will take me to my homepage in lists. Now, you can access the application, the list application on the web um, on the web portal, which is this one in Teams specifically, or also in your SharePoint site. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I will showcase it in the web application. Now, I've opened it. It triggered a separate tab. It took me to the home page, which is split into two: the favorites list and the recent lists. I can favorite any list that I want by using the right hand star icon, and I can defavorite them as much as I, um, whenever I would like to, whenever I stop using that specific list. And in the recent lists, I can see all the lists that I've accessed in the, in the past hours, whether I've created them or not, or whether have, I have been granted access to them. Moreover, I can see some information about the list as well. So I can see that the asset manager list is linked to my retail channel, to my retail team in Teams and SharePoint. The areas of responsibility one is linked to my design channel. And I also have a separate one, which is called Trip, and it's saved into my lists. This is something that I have not shared with anyone. It's a personal list, and it's saved within this workspace. However, the other list that you can see here, I can add them to Teams, and I can also see them in SharePoint. But let's just jump to creating a new list quickly. So I can click on New List, and I've got a few options here. First of all, I can create a blank list if I want to start from scratch. I can import some structure from an, or an, an old list and bring it to a new one. I can create a list from an Excel document if I would like to, or from a CSV file. But for Or I can use a template as well to save some time. But for today, I'll create a blank list. And I'll call it product launch in Europe. I can add a description about this list for tasks. Spelling Daria to be completed before the event. Blue is my favorite cuddle, so I'll go for this and I'll just choose an icon. Now, where do I save my list? I save. I can save my list in this workspace if I'd like to, or if I, I can save it where, wherever I would like to as well. So if I'm working with my design team on this project, I will save it to my design and create. This is a very, very, very empty space. I already have one column which is pre-built for me and I cannot delete this one, but I can always edit this column. The way that I do it, I just click on it. I go to column settings and I rename it to tasks. And I press save. And now I keep on adding columns, as many columns as I'd like. I have a few types of columns that I can go for here. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I will go for a person column because I want to allocate people from the team to my task. So I'll call this column person, people in charge of the tasks. This is the type of it. And if I click on more options, I can allow multiple people to be added and I press save. So for today, for now, we have the tasks and the person and we can keep on adding columns as much as we'd like. Now it's time to input the data, right? So we can click on new. And I have this form which pops up and all the columns that I'll create, they will show up here, just the way you see tasks and person. Schedule event. And I will allocate this to Adele Vance and I will save. So the more that I, the more I input data here with marketing and I will allocate this to Alex and press save. It will create a new row with every data entry that I add into this 
space and I can keep on doing and adding call uh, adding content as much as I'd like. If I prefer a different view, I can edit in the grid view and I can start adding new items from here. And March. Alan is going to take care of it. And I can keep on adding content and edit it the way that I, the way that it's easier for me, right? But let's say I can keep it like this. Another thing that I wanted to share with you, so even though this has been saved to the teams, I can share it with whoever I prefer from here and also give them edit list, edit items access, or view access as well. I can export this list to an Excel file or to a CSV file or to Power BI if I want to have them um, in that format as well. But the thing to note here, if you export it to Excel, it's going to be exported in this form. Even if you keep on adding content, this will not sync automatically to Excel. So you'll have to export it again. You can automate it. You can create a rule, as I've mentioned before. So if data in a column changes, if it's a new item that's created or an item is deleted, you can trigger an action. So when a column, let's say the person column changes to anything else, I have to send an email to Adele because she's in charge. Adele Vance. And I can create this role and I can create as many roles as I'd like to. Last thing that I wanted to show you here, you can always change the view of this list if you prefer to have a compact list or if you prefer to see it as gallery, this is my preferred view, for example. I think it's visually speaking, it helps me more. So you can do this using the option, the all items option right here. And the last thing, if I go to Teams and I want to add this list to my general channel, I already have a product launch in Europe and I want to add my new list. I'll add a tab, I'll go to lists. I will save it. It's going to open up the list for me. And I can either create a list within my channel specifically, or I can add an existing one. And I've added exactly the same list that I've created. Everything that I add here is going to update automatically with my list in the web application. Obviously, if you prefer a larger visual space, you can use the application in, in the web portal, or if you prefer to do everything in one simple location, you can start doing it in Teams. Cautious of time, um, there are many, many, many more things when it comes to lists and many more features. Um, this is just a taster, so um, if you have any questions, I'm happy to take them. If not, I really encourage you to give it a go. It really integrates perfectly with the other applications in, in the ecosystem. And I know there's an abundance of applications out there, but trust me when I say that they're purposeful when it comes to what they do. Um, and sometimes it can be confusing which one to use, but give it a go and you have to choose the right combination for you. Yeah. So Daria, I, I had no training on this whatsoever. I, I watched the 20 minute YouTube video that I put in the, in the chat and honestly completely changed the way I work um, and these, some of the advice that I give to my customers. So I, customers have since gone on and transformed the way the legal departments even work with collecting asks or uniform orders in retail or whatever and adding that extra automation in there. Maybe we do a separate session on that going yes. forward. Uh, but, you know, for, for now, if you've never seen this, go in, have a play, play around with the templates. Uh, you know, if you're big Excel users and you have to collect data often, yeah. this is the tool for you. Yeah, you often find that um, you, you can with the automation as well. You know, you can put in automation that says if something goes into that list, I uh, automatically send a message in Teams or automatically post into this group. Maybe we do a whole session on that because uh, it is from a process improvement Um possibilities it's, it's it's amazing especially when if you've got coming stuff coming in through forms automatically updating that list then notifying people so I could go on and on and on it's one of my honestly one of my favorite uh tools so we've got some more stuff coming up have a lovely rest of the day and, and thank you so much take care thanks everyone have a good day